What makes our curriculum special and different at North London Grammar is that we take care and we take time in ensuring that our students are able to study whole texts over a term rather than extract based only so they are able to understand the full range and the full form of autobiography. Um, in Year 7 we start with the novel Holes which is a great introductory text to the ideas of injustice and power which our students then build on as they move into Year 8 and Year 9. In Year 9 we also do a unit starting with um, historical protests which really looks closely at the autobiographies of Malala and Nelson Mandela so they're looking at how that transition, those themes tra have transitioned over time and then we build into that looking at Trevor Noah's Born a Crime which again consistently helps them to understand the building of the context they've studied in Year 8 having looked at um, apartheid with Nelson Mandela's autobiography. We then move into Shakespeare for each of our years, so in the spring term, it's the full text again because we want them to have that brevity and that depth of study in transcendental themes. Um, we start off with Romeo and Juliet in year seven, then we build into The Tempest, and then for our year nines, we are going into The Merchant of Venice, and then completing the Key Stage 4 year with Macbeth, which is our Key Stage 4 text. So every year group will also follow a similar transitional unit in their respective years to build on those themes. Um, in terms of our creative writing and transactional writing, it's really important that the students are able to see English as a subject where they're able to express themselves and they're able to um, understand the writer's craft by being writers themselves as well. And I understand that it's a core cool subject, so we want them to be able to take away key skills that they can use outside of the classrooms. Um, so we encourage them to have debates, to write speeches, to write articles, and that's something they'll take away outside of the classroom. Um, it's really important that our students are autonomous learners and we try and build that independence into them by having them research for their own presentations that they complete in class as well. This is also extended into Key Stage 4 where they also have the software um, acquisition program that they use at home by themselves as well to supplement what they're doing in class. I really enjoy English because um, we're taught to be independent whilst also receiving a lot of help in the classroom and um, expressing ourselves through a range of essays. In English literature, we talk about a variety of texts. We do Macbeth, Jekyll and Hyde, Inspector Calls, and also Unseen Poetry. In this class, we go into detail about um, the context. We learn history as well. We talk about the views of the artist and how they see the world, how they want to change the world, and also how the public views them as personas. The modern United Nations um, experience was when well, a bunch of us went to a college and spoke about our passions in certain committees. So I was in the dissect committee, which was disarmament and international security. And I, sp I spoke about how we should all have a specific area designated for weapons, nuclear, either nuclear or chemical, so it doesn't lead to any threats each country gives each other. And this experience made me gain a lot, not only a lot of friends, but also a lot of experience into what I would like to do in the future. I love English because we get to go through cultural and historical texts like Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde. In there we get to interpret our own creative ideas and we get to evaluate historical texts. For example, my favourite is Inspector Calls because we get to see the different sides of capitalism and socialism. We were then chosen to do a task which was to do a British Values Assembly to the younger years. There I did an assembly and I got through to the next stage, my group, because we performed well. So once I did that, I did an activity to get in, to get um, to the next stage. There I did a cooking activity with Year 8 and we made chocolate crispies. I managed to pass to the next level and then I got chosen for prefect and I was nominated. And I really enjoyed my prefect role because I got to do a number of tasks and I helped with the library, I helped plan events and I also helped stay at school for like open days and talk. Here at NRGS, we aim to encourage and challenge each and every student with extracurricular activities, including further math sessions and math competition training. At NRGS, we use the Edexcel exam board. What makes us different from many other schools is that in year 10, we allow students to follow fast-track GCSE syllabus. This means they will be able to sit their math GCSE in year 10. This is to give them the opportunity to study further math GCSE with us in year 11. 
Further maths is a great bridge between GCSE and A-level maths. I am also the UK coordinator of International Mathematics Assessment System known as IMS. IMS is a global mathematics competition for students in years 4 to 8. It's an exam that measures students' performance in knowledge, application and mathematical reasoning. What we do at NRGS is we set students' individual targets and provide them with extra training sessions after schools or weekends and also during half-term to help them achieve their full potential. Um, I teach general science to key stage three, that is year seven and year eight. And I also teach physics and biology to key stage four, and um, that is years nine, 10 and 11. Uh, we, at Key Stage 3, uh, we follow a very enriched program of study uh, which basically builds up and prepares our students uh, to, for their GCSE. Um, and um, at Key Stage 3, we've got uh, when students actually come in uh, from the primary schools in year 7 and year 8. Uh, we do loads of different topics in physics, in biology and chemistry. Uh, we do a lot of practicals, uh, we teach them a lot, we cover a lot of uh, basics um, in science. So we do, for example, the periodic table, uh, the elements, we introduce them into chemical reactions. Uh, we do exciting practicals uh, where they actually take a look at, a, um, for example, a chemical reaction, uh, life. Um, uh, we also do a lot of data analysis, so we introduce them into how science works. Um, and so they, are, they kind of uh, build up and develop skills um, to interpret uh, data and also collect a set of scientific data, uh, which is very, very important at GCSE. Um, we also teach them a lot about photosynthesis, about cells, about cell organelles. Um, we teach them in physics, for example, about forces, uh, about energy. Uh, obviously, we teach them about global warming and, uh, you know, the very uh, challenges that we face nowadays in the world. We obviously um, teach um, our students about microorganisms and how they might actually cause a disease. Uh, and this year, obviously, we are introducing a lot. And, uh, teaching our students about uh, viruses and specifically maybe coronavirus, um, how it affects the life of um, everybody and how it affects our life in general, how it infects us, how it causes a disease. Uh, so we cover quite a lot of topics at Key Stage um, 3. And then uh, once the students actually move on um, to Key Stage 4, uh, again we have got a very um, organised uh, programme of study. Um, we follow the uh, OCR gateway specification. Uh, we obviously provide our students with combined science curriculum as well as a triple science uh, curriculum. So um, obviously students who take combined science uh, at the end of year 11 they will get two GCSE um, and uh, our triple science students at the end of year 11 they will get three GCSE qualifications. Um, uh, again, uh, we teach them at separate subject, so it's chemistry, physics and biology. Uh, each subject involves all the uh, mass practicals, all the required practicals, uh, which we provide for students. Um, each subject is uh, taught by a different subject teacher uh, who is specialising in that subject. Uh, and again, um, we obviously have regular tests and regular assessments um, at Key Stage 3 as well as at Key Stage 4. Um, students are making very good progress at our school. Uh, we had almost as full timetable as normal timetable um, and we offered um, both combined science and triple science online live lessons. They were very enriched, very purposeful, with all sorts of activities. Uh, if they, for example, watched a video, they had to then 
answer question on the video. Um, obviously, all the lessons were very well organized, uh, having the uh, start activities, the main activities and the plenary activities. Uh, we also had um, assessments as well online. Uh, we called the students, our students attended. Um, attendance uh, was um, fairly regularly, uh, obviously, um, um, monitored as well. Uh, a student really enjoyed obviously the um, online lessons so it was a kind of a different type of lessons but they were uh, as intensive as uh, lessons life at school. In science classes recently we've been doing chemistry we've been learning about um, uh, we've been learning about the different states of matter and density and the laws of conservation of mass we've also been learning about how um, uh, how things in our uh, how things go in from one state to another we've also been learning about physical and chemical changes such as indicators and color changes LGS is a great school, it feels more like a family than it does as a classroom. Um, all of the lessons are, more, are extremely interactive and extremely fun to be in. During our online classes we did water and light experiments such as creating rainbows or such as experimenting between heat and water. We also managed to see, um, we also managed to use lighting to see where, how water would react to different stages of light and we also managed to see how light would work together so with, with fire as well. I like how um, in biology we learn about cells and then also in chemistry it links a bit to biology because we learn about how um, diffu the diffusion rate in cells as well so it links both in, in both um, topics. So we had end of unit tests on teams as well.